last Wednesday, the first uh, last Wednesday on the 4th of January, President Macron indicated that France would deliver uh, light tanks, and the word is not without an importance, AMX 10 RC to Ukraine without precising the number and the date. What is the AMX 10 RC? What role does it play in the French army? So the, the AMX 10 RC was uh, designed to fulfill a very specific reconnaissance mission, which is part of the uh, French doctrine, which is reconnaissance. But reconnaissance in the meaning in, of, of the French army is a, an action of combat. Uh, that means that the MX-10 RC has to go uh, in contact with the enemy. So the, the first role of MX-10 RC is to destroy the reconnaissance echelon of the enemy, then penetrate the curtain of the reconnaissance uh, unit. So the, the, the goal is uh, not only to know where the enemy is, but also try to catch its intention. So what are the intentions of the enemy as far as the maneuver is, is concerned? So this is the first mission. The, the second mission is what we call the, 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 the red, meaning that uh, you, you try to go very uh, in depth in the enemy organization in order to strike the second line, the second echelon. So the logistic uh, uh, spots, as an example, and to harass the, the enemy by uh, ambushes and uh, organizing what we call quick fight. So this is the second mission. And the third mission of the AMX-10 RC is infantry support light tank, meaning that the uh, AMX-10 RC was able to uh, uh, provide uh, fire support to the dismount infantry. The three main missions of the uh, AMX-10 RC are reconnaissance, again, uh, uh, harassment of the enemy by ambushes and red, and the submission is infantry support. When President Macron designated the AMX-10 RC as a light tank, he raised a lot of debates inside the uh, defense community, on social networks and so on. How can you comment the use of light tank that President Macron made to design his vehicle? So light tank is, is a generic word to uh, design uh, something which is uh, uh, heavily gunned uh, with a, a, a light weight, I would say. So uh, a light tank is, um, is, is a tank, um, but with, with, a, with a light weight, so something which is less than 20 tons, but uh, heavily weaponed with a, a, a big caliber gun. So this is why the MX-10 RC can be called a light tank in that sense. Adding the MX-10 RC to the already impressive Ukrainian arsenal with so many different equipments, won't it be more a problem than an asset? The Ukrainian army uh, is now, I guess, uh, fully organized to, uh, to manage uh, the, the diversity of uh, systems and vehicles which are delivered by uh, different uh, Western sources and, and different Western uh, uh, countries. The Ukrainian army is, is in this position where it's better to have something that, than, than having nothing. So meaning that uh, whatever the sources are, whatever the, the material uh, uh, which are delivered, it's always better to have something and, and to be fueled on a regular basis by uh, the, the, the Western country. The, the most important point is to be supplied and to be delivered with a, a lot of a lot of system, as many as we can deliver. All right, thank you very much indeed for your precious and uh, detailed explanation, sir. Uh, we hope to come back to you with uh, other subjects to treat in connection with the French army.